everybody, and welcome to another week of Let's Talk. I am your host, author, Drelet. Thank you for joining me for another fun-filled week of information that we inform, inspire, and motivate. I call today Multitasking Friday, and boy, do we have a guest coming on that she's going to tell you all about how she multitasks in her life. As you guys know, every week you can purchase my books. I tell you every week you can purchase my books on my website, which is dtlproduct.net, or you can go to Amazon and type in my author name, which is Dree, D-R-E space let, L-E-T-T. There you can find a full description of all my books and a bio on me as an author. So again, I appreciate your support. As every week, I also tell you guys where you can view Let's Talk. It can be viewed on Facebook on Let's Talk with Author Drelet, on my YouTube channel, which is called Let's Talk, and also on Instagram, which is author underscore Drelet. So there you can view the show every week. And on YouTube, please make sure you hit subscribe, like, and tell a friend. It's free to subscribe, and there you can binge watch all the shows. So as I mentioned earlier, this is Multitasking Friday. My special guest is coming up is Lady P. She is the owner and CEO of 96.2, The Smooth Groove, which is a digital curator platform radio station based out of Florida. She'll be on the show to talk about her shows, motherhood, and being a business owner. So as you guys know, this is the month of October. October is the month where we really push breast cancer screening for women. So as I tell you, as I have been telling you for the past couple of weeks, Please make sure if you're in a bind and you can't afford to get a mammogram, please make sure you go to cdc.com and there you can find free or low cost screenings. You can also go to the American Cancer Society where they have um, the same information for free or low cost screenings. Also in the month of October is Halloween. Yay! <laughs> I had a little fun with an app that I found and there is my costume. I'm celebrating Halloween virtually. So hopefully you all will be safe as well with your kids and your grandkids. Make sure you guys wear your mask, wash your hands and, and use hand sanitizer, but make sure you celebrate and be safe out there. October is also National Roller Skating Month. So this month, um, this is the last week of October, and I wanted to give a tribute to my skate family. I've been skating with a group of people that I call Skate Fam for 10 years, and we've been skating adult roller skating, and that's where they play adult type music. And so I made a little video to give a tribute to say thank you, I love you guys, and it's my way of giving back and celebrating the National Roller Skating Month. So I want to share this with you all, so take a look. <laughs>
well there you have it that is my skate family every uh you know faithfully for 10 years once or twice a week i would skate with them so i call them family because we all have such a good time together so with further ado i am going to bring on as mentioned earlier tonight we have radio host lady p she is the owner and ceo of 96.2 the smooth groove which is a digital curator platform radio station she's an entrepreneur certified relationship coach mother of four of which three are under 18 and a business intelligence developer for her day job she is here to talk to us tonight about her radio station and the wonderful things that she is going that she's got going on there so with that we're going to bring her into let's talk the room here hey <laughs> hey how are you lady p <laughs> I'm doing great. Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> you surviving COVID-19 and this pandemic and all this craziness? I am. I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. I tell you, it's it's just crazy. I know here in Atlanta, oh, <laughs> it was... Um, it was uh it, we we had the hurricane or they turned it turned into a tropical storm and it came through and parts of Atlanta is still without power so it's just been crazy. Oh, okay. Yes. yes, we got our power back uh, yesterday, so I was like, oh no, am I going to be able to do the show? But it all worked out. But some of my faithful viewers are probably still without power. So. Oh wow. I know. Okay. But I'm sure in Florida, you guys have had your fair share of hurricanes, right? No, you know what? The the thing that's interesting is that I moved to Florida in 2006. Six months before I moved, they had Wilma, which was really devastating. And they've been two that were supposed to come that didn't get here. So I've never experienced living through a hurricane. Let me knock on some wood. Um, <laughs> So since I've been here, now it's 14 years, so nothing major. Everything that was coming kind of turned or something. So you got me knock on wood because we're not, we have another month to hurricane season. So oh, no, bless your heart. Well, I'm sure God will keep us. We, we got enough on our plate right now with the election, hurricane. We got enough. No, I know. <laughs> well, thank you for joining. Let's talk. I appreciate you coming on, Lady P. I understand you got some stuff you'd like to share with us. Well, um, <laughs> yes, please. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, uh oh, did she change her mind? <laughs> okay. okay um, I'm going to cue this up real quick while I do that. So tell us okay. uh, real quick, what, what, do, what do you have that you wanted to share with us um, that, that you wanted to uh, tell us about your show a little bit here, your shows, I should say. Well, we have several shows. Um, one of the clips that we're going to look at is a clip from um, our relationship show, which is one of my favorites. I guess they're all my favorites, but um, one of my favorite shows. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit play. Okay. So let's say you're dating a young lady for X amount of time, and she gets down on one knee and proposes to you. Oh. You accept that? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh my Jesus! Really, Jesus? Oh my Jesus! <laughs> You're so messy. <laughs> messy. Okay, I'm like, and cousin just ready to jump on the bandwagon and all of that. Oh my goodness, so you have to tell uh, us what happened here. So, so what was going on? This is the new relationship show. We air it usually Sundays at 8 p.m. So the show has several segments. That particular one is where we have a panel of relationship coaches and experts. And we talk about either a topic of the week or an advice letter. This particular episode, we were talking about an advice letter where a young lady had wrote in and she was asking for our advice because she had been with this um, guy for a while and he hadn't proposed to her and she didn't know if she should just wait or should she, you know, just keep it moving. So during the course of our discussion of what should happen, 
Jamie and says, well, um, she has two lips. Why she can't just propose? And I'm like, no, no, <laughs> absolutely not. Don't listen to Jamie's advice. And so then I said, okay, well, let me ask you a question. What would you do if this scenario happened? And before I could even get it out, what he came back with, I didn't expect. I didn't see it coming. And I mean, he and Jamin is an actor and a comedian. And so it was just like totally unexpected. Some of the things that come out of his mouth just make the show so funny. So that's what, <laughs> that's what was going on at that point. Oh my goodness. That sounds like a lot of fun. Like you guys talk about a lot of interesting things. Oh my goodness. We do. We do. That's true. Oh my goodness. Okay. And we got Bobby Washington here. Let's see. And this is radio host Lady P. And this is the Midweek Show, where we interview authors and artists for a new soul gospel legend's spoken word. We have a special treat for you today. We are interviewing South Florida's own R&B legend, Bobby Washington. Born and raised in Okamaka, Bobby literally grew up with soul. His father once auditioned for the temptation, so we know the vocal tops came from him. While in high school, Bobby formed a group where he was lead vocalist, and they actually earned a slot opening for the new kids on the block back in 1989. By the end of high school, his focus was on a solo career. He opened for Tony Terry and R. Kelly, just to name a few, and toured as a background singer in 91 with Pretty Tony and his group. So he saw how the business was done due to a crash course he had working for an indie label. So decided he was better off on his own. So started his own label in 99 called Beat Up Entertainment. And he's had an entrepreneurship track record back, back when I originally had my information said over 200,000 albums sold. But actually I just saw a recent article that says that he has sold over 600,000 records from his truck single-handedly since 1998. So, I'm not gonna say much more because I know I said a lot, and I wanna give him a chance to introduce himself to you. So, let me introduce you to our special guest on the show tonight, Mr. Bobby Washington. Yeah, that was a great, great introduction. I don't know if I can follow up with that. Oh, you Man. can, I'm sure you can. Wow. <laughs> Wow, wow. Wow, girl, you got a voice for radio. That is awesome. Oh, my goodness. Well, so it was a lot of fun. And that show actually eventually went away because I had the brilliant idea of taking four of my shows and combining them into one. But I still have a show where I interview authors and artists. And it's a lot of fun because one of the things we'd like to do, especially for our artists, is we get our independent artists heard and we get them a voice. So with our platform, they're able to come on, talk about their music, talk about what they're doing, maybe give some encouragement for those who are coming up who want to, you know, go along. So, you know, I find those interviews like so much fun. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that is so awesome. Oh, my goodness. And I think here, this is another segment. You have a Lover's Lane segment? Oh, my goodness. Tell me about this. <laughs> so um, Lover's Lane is a slow vibe segment. It's music for lovers after dark. Usually airs 9 o'clock during the week when, you know. And so this show, and it's funny because that um, picture was a, a little video I made to kind of tease some. <laughs> Tell you something, because I don't usually um, go Facebook Live with my music segments because although I'm a radio station, I still get the thing where Facebook comes back and mutes the music. And so if, if you don't catch it live, you, you'll look and you'll see me talking. And you're like, what's she saying? I don't hear anything, you know. So I generally don't. But in this case, I just did a, a little video. So what I do with that show, I'm like... Hey, this is your radio host, Lady P. This is 96.2, The Smooth Groove. And this is Lover's Lane, music for lovers after dark. So if you're with your loved one, hold them close. And if you're not with them, give them a call, shoot them a text. Let them know you're, they're on your mind and send them the link and just vibe with me, huh? And, you know, so that's like my thing that I say uh, during that show. So I think I had uh, made a little video just to send to someone just to kind of 
mess with them because I really generally don't do that show um, video. You'd have to just listen to it on the on the radio. Oh my goodness, I love it. That voice right there, girl, you got that. <laughs> Way <up> now. <laughs> yeah, Facebook, you know, and YouTube, they they will block stuff, and it's so frustrating with the copyright stuff going on. I, I don't even understand that. Sometimes, it, ooh, so I totally get right, it. And, and the thing is, as a radio station, I am um, affiliated with Stream Licensing, so I am allowed to play the music, and, you know, I, I say it, I put it in there, and they're still, you know, so I just said, you know what, I'll just that my music shows just tell people just log into the station listen that way exactly. and they can, hear, they can hear the voice they might can't see me but they can hear the voice hey. i've been working on cultivating this voice now <laughs> <laughs> well you do a great job well, okay so <laughs> we have our my live studio audience everybody i'm gonna dive into some questions for lady p so you all make sure you chime in and i will definitely check and make sure i get the questions out to her but i'm just going to tell everybody a little tidbit about lady p uh we went to high school together we ran track together <laughs> so i am just so proud of her um you know everybody from my graduating class we all are doing great things and i'm just so proud of you girl and i'm so honored that you're on my show <laughs> I'm learning so much from you with this whole uh, radio and hosting thing. So I look up to you, big ups. So oh, thank you. <laughs> so let me just start with um, my first question I have for you. How mm -hmm. did you go from a career in infotech to owning a radio station? How, how did you make the transition? Well, um, I've been doing IT, oh my gosh, over 20 years. I'm not gonna say how many over, but quite, you know, my, my whole career, um, has been in IT. And what happened <laughs> was that there was a young man that I was dating and he had a radio station. And actually I credit him with my love of radio because I knew nothing about it, you know, prior to meeting him. And I actually did my first shows on his station. He gave me the name Lady P. How about that? I'm sure he's not happy about it now, but he did give me the name. And so what happened he had a station and I used to do a show on a station and I would tell everyone, hey guys, I'm live on the radio, I'll listen in. And by the time my show was done, it was back to um, the content he was playing. And he felt like because it was um, digital, he, he didn't have the FCC guidelines. He didn't have to worry about music being clean. And that was kind of how he reached out to the artists. And, I was trying to tell him that, you know, if you're trying to help these artists, you know, you need to let them know they're going to go terrestrial or mainstream. They're going to have to clean it up. And he didn't want to hear it. So I said, you know, I'm just going to start my own show by example. And that's how I ended up starting 96.2 in January of 2017, because I wanted to kind of show him that the things that I was suggesting could work. And they actually did work because at the time, I want to say I had like eight live shows and I got all of those plus a couple of my syndicated shows approved as podcasts for iHeartRadio. Still in the process of trying to get iHeartRadio to have us as an iHeartRadio station so that we're up live with them 24-7. It's in progress, you know, but it was just some things that I felt to take it to the next level. So that's how it all happened. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. And somebody here said it's great to see an African-American uh, owner of a radio station. That's huge. That's big. That's big. So what type of programming can users expect out of your station? What type of music? Well, I'm old school. So this um, and our station is grown folk music all the time. So it is R&B from the 80s and 90s. Um, Fridays during the day, we have um, the 80s and 90s um, electric funk, so stuff like Siberian Nights, Electric Kingdom, Pac, you know, that stuff, that's during the day on Fridays. Saturdays, I go way, way old school, 60s and 70s. Sundays, is inspirational all day. And then we have several shows. So we have um, Cheryl Underwood Radio Morning Show every day, Monday to Friday okay. uh, from 6 to 10. We've actually, I'm running four of her syndicated shows on the network. I have Carrie's Corner on Thursday nights. I have uh, Digital Empire Nation on Wednesday nights. I have a new one, Banging Gospel Radio Show, which is Sundays. Um, another Cheryl Underwood Spiritual Nourishment Sundays. And then I've got uh, my own Sunday show, which is the Inspirational Jam Show Sunday morning. 
Sunday evening, um, we've got the new relationship show, which is the fun one, which we had that clip from. So quite a bit. And, and what I've done is I've tried to build content that listeners will like. So I've got something for someone and it's definitely geared to a more mature audience, but we just have something for someone at some time. So that's kind of what I've done with the program. That's awesome. And it's huge that you're with Cheryl Underwood Radio. That That's, wow, you did that. Yeah. Oh, and we, I, I think we actually have an affiliates meeting tomorrow and she is so awesome. I, like I said, I have 13 uh, syndicated shows, four of which are hers. But what she does is she works with us as her affiliates. She has, I want to say right now, 516 affiliates that are running her show. And what she does is she works with us because she's trying to help us use her brand to build our brand. So oh. she's, I mean, she is awesome. Her team is awesome. I am so blessed to be working with them. That is, that's huge, that's huge. The audience is just going on and on. Somebody says, wow, you are really busy. Sounds good doing things on your own terms. Absolutely. Um, determination and, and preservation paid out definitely. That's awesome, girl. So is this a profit-making platform that other entrepreneurs can look into? What's your thoughts on that? Well, I would say that this is not for the faint of heart. <laughs> I would say that it's something that takes a while, but um, work at it. So first you have to build your brand. You have to build your name. You've got to have the content to bring the listeners. Once you have all of that together, then now you go out to the advertisers and you let them know how they benefit coming on this platform, number one the cost compared to going to a terrestrial station is significantly less. So it's like a win-win for them. But first, before you're even able to get to that point, you've got to build your listener base, build your content that the listeners will like. So we, like I said, we're coming up on four years and we've now just um, started working with a company, a marketing company, Jewel Marketing out of Miramar, Florida, for them to help us with our advertising. Because now, we're at the point where we've built our client base, we've built our listener base, we've built the content that, you know, people are coming back and, you know, so now we can go to the advertisers with our media kit and say, hey, this is what we have, this is, you know, the listeners we have, these are the shows we have, you know, and then talk to them about coming on, advertising with us, and then, you know. So we're hoping that 2021 is the year that we're gonna make some money. Absolutely, well, that's <laughs> you know, awesome. and, I mean, it's just, to me, it's just, it's fun. It's something that I never knew that I would enjoy. And, and, you know, they say when you love it, it's not work, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm just thrilled to be doing this. And that's the thing, you know, like you mentioned earlier, you know, um, although it's not making money, but you have goals that it will and hard work. I know with my podcast, a lot of people don't realize it, but it's a lot of hours putting shows together. And if you really want it, you got to grind and work at it. So, so I know, I know you're going to get there. Definitely. People are saying they love Lady P, the platform. Oh. Right up. <laughs> you. Um, somebody on here saying they're proud of you. I think it's a family member. <laughs> Okay. So, yes, we, we look up to you and anything that you want to make your dreams come true. You've got to grind for it. you got to work. Hard yeah. So definitely. Mm -hmm. True. So um, do you have any favorites of any of your live shows that you may have? <sighs> you know, I actually I like all my shows for different reasons. So, for example, my inspirational jam show. I love that show because gospel is my my favorite genre of music. I sing. I'm in praise and worship so you know that one as it's ministering the people it's ministering to me and i i love that show and then you've got the relationship show now i actually when when i had the concept of this show which was probably a few months into the station starting because i think march 2017 is when that show started i wanted something different so it's called the new relationship show because it's different in that i've got a male host and myself and we're talking together about relationship issues from a male and female standpoint because we think differently. And so what I did was I went and got certified. So I'm a certified relationship coach because even though this show is um, for entertainment purposes, I didn't want someone writing in a letter and then I go way left with what I had to tell them because I hadn't you know, been trained. So prior to even starting the show, you know, that's what we did. So it's, it's timely, you know, 
we talk about, you know, a topic for the week, different things that are going on. We have people write in their advice letters, but then we have a fun component to it where we have the battle of the sexes, Ooh. where um, we have a male and female contestant and, you know, we see which one knows more about the other. And I'm not bragging I, if Cousin Howard is watching, but um, Team Pink has been winning, I'm just saying. Oh, okay. it, it just seems like we women know more, but I'm just, I mean, that's just what it seems like to me. So that show I love. Um, my Lover's Lane, of course, because, I mean, old school R&B, that's baby making music. I'm past the age of baby making, but I'm just saying, <laughs> back in the day, you know, and, and those songs, you know, today's R&B, it's, it's just it's not the same they can't do it like how we did it back then mm. and it's, it's just nice to be able to do that because a lot of those songs you don't hear them on the radio anymore mm. so then i get there and i start vibing to my stuff and you know and i'll tell people people will ask for certain things to be played i'm like okay but remember this is my show i'm playing what i want to hear you know so that one i love as well so i mean I love them all. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that, you know, and I can relate to that because having all the books, people say, what's your favorite book that you've written? And I love them all. So I totally get it. That That's amazing. And you also brought up another good point. You know, music today, with respect to the millennials and their younger generation, music just isn't the same anymore. And the old school, it just, it touches your soul. You can hear the words <laughs> and the right. beats. And oh my goodness. So you're right. You, you're right on that. Definitely. Um, let's see here. Oh, we got somebody from high school saying late the girls doing great things in life yay <laughs> and somebody else said um oh they wanted to know have you ever met shirley murdoch uh they said they used to sing with her in church wow no i never met shirley murdoch but i did get a chance i um i interviewed stacy latisaw i interviewed will downing i interviewed um oh my jesus Whoa. So many, so many. Glenn Jones, um, with, and oh, we talked yeah. about, you know, so all, you know, because I was trying to get people from back in the day and just talk to them about what they've been doing since then and think, you know, um, legends from our day. So, yes. unfortunately, no, not yet, but you know what? I'm going to see if I can reach out to her people and get her on one of my future shows because I'd love to interview her. I love her yes. voice. So. I I'm going to work on Shirley Murdoch. <laughs> okay, y'all. She says she's going to work on it. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so if someone was interested, you talked about advertising and marketing earlier. If someone was interested in advertising on your network or syndi on your syndication show, um, what steps should they take? Who should they get into? Well, um, if they were interested in advertising, like I said, we are partnering with Jewel Marketing. Karen Bailey is the CEO, and they would reach out to her. Her email is actually kmbailey721 at gmail.com. Um, if they were interested in um, a show syndication on our network, they would reach out to me, which is radio host lady p at gmail.com. Understanding that all our stuff is clean, um, that's, that's one of the main things in trying to get on iHeartRadio we may not have FCC guidelines on this digital curator network. However, that's how I run my station because that's where I'm trying to go. And that's the vision that I have for my station. So as long as it's clean, as long as, you know, everything is good like that, talk to me about it, of course. Absolutely. That's awesome. And I take advice from you on that, you know, definitely no cursing, no lewd behavior, because you're right. If you want to get picked up, you've got to have a clean show. So awesome. So yeah. you guys definitely write that down if you um, are curious to advertise your uh, businesses on her show, because we I've had a lot of entrepreneurs on the podcast. So I'm sure they'll probably hit you up for some of that. Um, okay. let's see. What else would you like to share? But well, let me ask you this before we get to that question. Okay. How do you juggle? We talked about it being multitasking Friday. Girl, how do you juggle mom, career, radio, relationship coach? How do you do it? <laughs> oh, by prayer. Oh, my Jesus. <laughs> because, I mean, honestly, that's the only way. I, I, I think that I'd like to be busy. I don't know how... I would be if I wasn't busy, you know, and I'll tell people, you know, I'm going to slow down. And then, you know, next time, what are you doing? Oh, I'm doing this, this, this. you know, I, I don't think I know how to slow down, but I think it keeps me young. <laughs> you know, um, oh, well, thank you very much. But yeah, I, I just, you know, it, it does. And I mean, I think that's, that's what it is. It's a balancing act. It's, you know, just prayer. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> and you know, in, in, in our age range, you know, um, you, you can't sit down, you know, you got to keep moving. That's the key to mm -hmm. it. If you sit down, that's when your body says, oh, we chilling. Oh, it must be time to go. No, <laughs> we got to keep True. going. So absolutely. That's good. That's, that's good. Is there anything else you want to share about your station? Any tidbits? What's well, it like I, with I, celebrities? I, I, Huh? What's it like working with celebrities? Are they difficult or? You know what? They are. They are just normal. Um, okay. I even. Oh my gosh! I forgot. I even um, interviewed Gregory Abbott, and you know that was he was the man back in the day. What? <laughs> and, you know, like, we was talking about shake it down. Woo, Jesus! But anyway, um, you know what? They are just normal people, and it was funny because um, one of my favorite interviews was Will Downing because. I love his music. And mm -hmm. I remember his first CD probably in 96 moods. And that was like the first time that I could put it in and listen to every single song. Cause you know, back in the day, you're like, okay, I like track two and maybe track 10, you know, never where you found the whole thing. So when I got him to come and do an interview with me, it was so funny. And he was talking to me like he knew me. Yeah, that's my girl, Lady B. I was like, what? Okay. <laughs> and, you know, it even got to the point where I think we were talking about his favorite songs. And I do like a clip here, a clip there. Then we got to my favorite song. I played the whole song. And he was like, um, I was sitting here like, were you going to come back? And I, I mean, talking to me just like how you and I are talking. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> I, mean, I just, it was my favorite song, you know. But it was just, they are just like we are. They just, you know they have gotten some fame in the things that they do but i mean people are people you mm -hmm. know and and my approach to even reaching out to interview is for them to tell their story mm -hmm. you know tell something that's a little known fact for example glenn jones has the the um glenn jones foundation and mm -hmm. he's doing a lot of charity work and giving back and that's a little known fact that maybe a lot of people didn't know but he was able to come and talk about that so that's kind of what i like to do with it because all of them have something that they can offer. They can share with someone, even if it's someone that's wanting to be an artist like them and, you know, want to talk about the pitfalls and the different things like that, whatever it may be, you know, mm -hmm. everyone has a story to tell. So I just love the fact that I've been able to help some of the people share their story with our listeners. Oh, that is so awesome. That is so awesome. I look up to you. Like I said earlier, you're doing your thing. I am so proud of you. Uh, you, you working it. Um, let's see here. Somebody else said just a couple of comments. Somebody said staying focused. Just keep pushing, keep grinding. Um, oh, somebody wanted to ask, what was the who was the best celebrity? I think you said Will Will, Will Downing, right? I or think not? Will Downing was yeah. my best interview that i had i mean just just because i guess we had that rapport and we could you know because other ones you know i i introduce them we talk and maybe talk about their music but he and i was we had like a joking thing you know so i <laughs> i really enjoyed it it was it was a lot of fun oh wow that's amazing well like i said i appreciate you coming on let's talk i'm learning from you <laughs> you've been four years in the game i'm three so i look up to you and i'm learning from you and i thank you so much for coming on let's talk you keep grinding keep doing your thing and and um i'm gonna keep watching i'm gonna keep listening too <laughs> okay and listen you do the same let me tell you you are doing really well Oh. You, I mean, yes, it's a lot of work, but you're providing great content. You're consistent. That's what it takes. The content and being consistent. And it takes the right person, just one person to listen and share. And let me tell you, things can change like this. I have, uh, I guess he was a K-pop. So, you know, I really, K-pop, I, I interviewed him. But he, he did a song. I don't know what song it was. And he referenced something about Nicki Minaj, tagged her while well, she retweeted it. And he went to sleep and he woke up and he had like blown up overnight just because she retweeted his song that he did, that he tagged her on. So, I mean, just, just keep at it, keep your content and you never know who's watching. You never know who may hear something. And the next thing we know, you're on the network and I'm like, can I get an interview with you? <laughs> you know, I mean, it, it, just, it just happens like that. But in, all in all, just enjoy it. Enjoy the journey because it's, it's, it's wonderful. And you're able to share something with your platform. 
you're able to share something that maybe someone needs to know, someone needs to hear. And that's the way you look at it. And just keep it up, keep grinding, and you never know how it'll go. But I, I see great things for you and for your podcast, and I'm proud of you as well. Oh, well, thank you, Lady P. Thank you for coming on Let's Talk. You are welcome here anytime. Well, thank you. <laughs> And it was fun. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Well, as you guys can see, that was Lady P. Um, she's awesome. Like I said, she's doing great things. She's 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 making it uh, work and also being a successful um, owner of a radio station and all of that. So um, just, just really, really proud of her. She's welcome here anytime. So before we go, I just want to share something with you guys. Somebody said to me, they said, you know, Drina, you don't share enough about your books on your show. You have everybody that come on and you talk about everything you talk about their you know their things and we hardly ever hear anything about your book so I put together just a little bitty snippet something that can um, help you guys see about some of my books so it won't take too much of your time but take a look at it and tell me what your thoughts are okay so I'm gonna go ahead and play it for you all That's Spaghetti Junction highlighting that book. So that was a lot of fun. And that book is in uh, current, um, you know, with current times of what's going on in the world. So um, take a look at that. Uh, again, you guys can purchase that on my website, dtlproduct.net, or you can go on Amazon and you can type in my author name, Dree Led, and there you'll find a description of the book and my bio. So thank you so much, you guys, for tuning in every week. Again, thank you, Lady P, for coming on Let's Talk. Before we leave, as you know, I always like to share a positive thought with you every week. This comes from an unknown author. I found it on the internet. I was just scoping through positive quotes and it says, you are in charge of your life. Dream big and love your passions. So, you know, I'll repeat that again and think about that and let it sink in. You are in charge of your life dream big and love your passions so as you heard from lady p and this is multitasking friday whatever it is that you love go after keep pushing after no matter what and just just stay focused even if you've got to multitask careers jobs kids the whole nine stay after it and just just stay positive and just keep praying also, you guys, as you know, Tuesday is the last day to vote. Hopefully you've gotten out and done your early voting or your absentee ballot. If you haven't been able to do any of that, make sure you go out Tuesday. It's the last day to vote. Vote like your life depends on it because it sort of kind of does. So again, you guys can view my show every week. Let's talk on Facebook on my TV station called or TV show, I should say, called Let's Talk with author Drelette on my YouTube channel under Let's Talk, and on Instagram, you can view it under author underscore Dree Let. So you guys, you know, um, I just wanna make sure you guys have a fun, safe Halloween. Make sure you put your mask on, wash your hands, do all that good stuff, and pray, and be safe out there. 
Have a fun, blessed weekend and week. And with that, love you. I'm out.